that's all set up and ready to go and calibrated, you can literally just grab it and go. Um. Hi guys. Today I'm out in the paddock with Bernie Zara from New Farm. We're having a look at weeds at the moment. That's the perfect time. Weeds are all up. Clover's past the two or three leaf stage already, and everything's actively growing. And now what I'm seeing most of is capeweed, erodium, um, cochula, obviously flatweed, double G's. So now's the time to get out our selective herbicides and really give the weeds a good go while they're nice and small. One of the herbicides we've been using at the moment is called Thistral Gold and I've got Bernie here to talk about it. Bernie, can you tell us a little bit about uh, the mode of action and uh, the safety on clover in particular? Yeah, I can. So Thistral uh, has got three um, active ingredients, um, which are, well, two of them are phenoxies, they're MCPA and MCPB, and the other one is flumetsalam, so people might know that as broad strike. Um, so the, the phenoxies are perfect herbicides, selective herbicides for broadleaf weeds in legume-based pastures like we have in the southwest. So, um, you know, clover being the predominant legume. MCPB, so the main phenoxy that's in Thistrol Gold, is actually safe on clover. And the way, that, the, the, the way that works is that it's taken up by plants, MCPB, um, as, as that active. But um, it undergoes a process within wheat, the weed species to convert to MCPA. So it becomes herbicidal in the plant and, that, and that's, what, uh, that's what kills the weeds. Clover from the two leaf, um, two trifoliate leaf stage doesn't have the ability to do that conversion. So that's what, uh, that's what gives it the safety. So um, it doesn't convert the MCBB yeah. to the MCPA and yeah. make it basically yeah. into the infective Yep. chemical. Yep. It's pretty cool and I, I've seen it being quite safe on the clover and it means we can come in at the two trifoliate leaf which is a little earlier so we can get our, our weeds a bit smaller, keep the chemical rate down, keep the cost down. It seems like a um, pretty pretty good option at the moment. I, I think it's a very good option um, particularly with uh, also with the flumetsalam in there it gives us a, a really broad spectrum of weeds uh, that, it, that it controls. Two litres per hectare um, is the rate we've been using in the southwest and we've done plenty of trials over the last few years with it. It also requires an oil um, to be used at sort of 0.5% um, volume. So if you're spraying at 100 litres a hectare that would be 500 mils of the oil. The oil we recommend is Banjo and that just helps uh, the actives get into the weeds and, and that process um, to, of, of it converting to MCPA to start happening. Excellent, thanks Bernie. Um, so that's our major smaller broadleaf weeds that I mentioned earlier. There's other chemical options as well that we can um, look at so come and have a chat if you need to talk about your weeds that you've got on your place and what may be your best chemical control options. I think there's a few others within New Farm at the moment that I just want to ask Bernie about. Um, one main one is being um, Amicide. Uh, it's a, perhaps a little early yet, but later on in the season we'll start using that. And that will be more targeting uh, the spray graze options and techniques. So, uh, is there anything you'd like to add about Amicide, Bernie? Um, amicide again is a uh, phenoxy herbicide, so 2,4-D amine uh, is the active, so broadleaf again, as, like Brooke was saying. Um, yeah, you can use it later, but it's also effective uh, early in the season, particularly if you're wanting to tidy up a paddock uh, before reseeding. That's something that can be done. It's, it's, it is strong on flatweed, which I know um, has been or is an issue for us in the southwest. So that's one probably I would look at um, if I was using or looking to use um, amicide. Yep. yep. We just need to um, be active on our permits and making sure we're adhering to our vineyard guidelines with our range um, spraying range options. So again, come talk to us if you'd like to discuss those options. All right, well thanks very much Bernie. Um, we'll get some weeds sprayed, we'll do some trial work as we always do and we'll get back to you guys later on in the season.